Hello everyone, today I'm letting my audience slowly drive AI crazy. Let's see what it comes up with. In the quiet solitude of his remote cottage, David found solace from the chaos of the outside world. Nestled deep within the woods, far from prying eyes and intrusive sounds, it was the perfect sanctuary for a man who valued his solitude above all else. But as the days stretched on, and the isolation pressed in around him like a suffocating shroud, David began to realize that his haven was slowly transforming into a prison of his own making. It started with subtle disturbances, barely perceptible whispers that danced on the edge of his consciousness. At first, David dismissed them as nothing more than the wind rustling through the trees or the settling of the old house. But as the whispers persisted, growing louder and more insistent with each passing day, he could no longer ignore the gnawing sense of unease that settled in the pit of his stomach. Alone in the silence of his home, David found himself haunted by a constant feeling of being watched, as if unseen eyes were peering at him from the shadows. Every creak of the floorboards, every rustle of the curtain sent shivers down his spine, and he began to dread the onset of nightfall when the darkness would envelop him like a suffocating blanket. Sleep became a distant memory as David tossed and turned in his bed, tormented by nightmares that seemed to blur the line between dreams and reality. He would wake in a cold sweat heart racing, only to find himself alone in the oppressive darkness of his room. Desperate for relief, David reached out to the outside world, but his pleas for help were met with silence. Friends and family, once eager to visit him in his secluded abode, now seemed to avoid him, their voices growing distant and indistinct, as if swallowed by some unseen force. Alone and adrift in a sea of confusion, David began to question his own sanity. Shadows danced at the edge of his vision twisting and writhing in a grotesque mockery of reality. He would catch glimpses of figures lurking in the darkness, their eyes glinting with malevolent intent before vanishing without a trace. As the days turned into weeks and the weeks into months, David's grip on reality began to slip. He would spend hours pacing the halls of his home, muttering to himself in hushed tones as if trying to drown out the cacophony of whispers. In the end, David was left alone with his madness until the line between reality and delusion became nothing more than a distant memory. And in the silence of his empty home, the whispers continued to echo, a haunting reminder of the darkness that lurked within. 